Do you know? The US has the largest number of volcanoes, totaling 173, followed by Russia, which is home to 166 volcanoes, and then Indonesia, with around 139 volcanoes. About 20 active volcanoes around the world erupt on any given day. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, one of the most active on Earth, erupted nearly continuously from 1983 to 2018. Volcanic eruptions are one of the most dangerous natural disasters. Let's take a deeper look into what are volcanoes, how they're formed and many more interesting facts about them. Let's start with what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening on the surface of a planet or a moon that allows material warmer than its surroundings to escape from its interior. When this material escapes, it can cause an eruption which can be explosive or can be calmer with gentle flows of material. While we certainly have some big volcanoes here on Earth, the Earth isn't the only planet with volcanoes. Evidence of past volcanic activity has been found on most planets in our solar system and on many of their moons. Olympus Mons on Mars is the largest known volcano in our solar system and some of the moons of Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune have confirmed volcanic activity. In this video, we will talk more about the volcanoes on our planet Earth. How are volcanoes formed? To understand how volcanoes are formed, let's first look at the structure of the Earth. Earth has three layers. Crust, the top layer. Mantle, the middle layer. And core, the innermost layer. Earth's outer shell, lithosphere, which includes the crust and the uppermost part of the mantle, is divided into patchwork of large tectonic plates that move slowly relative to each other. Volcano formation can be explained by three processes. First, when two tectonic plates move towards each other, in this case, sometimes one plate will move under the other. The denser plate will move underneath the one which is less dense. This causes the mantle rock to melt. This molten rock then rises and erupts in the surface, building a volcano. Second, when two tectonic plates move apart, magma rises up and erupts in the surface where the plates separate. For example, along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, as shown in this image, red triangles here mark the location of some of Iceland's active volcanoes. So, a lot of volcanoes form at the edge of Earth's tectonic plates. Third scenario, where volcanoes are away from the plate's boundaries, are explained to be caused by the hotspots. Hotspots are places within the mantle where rocks melt to generate magma. Volcanoes result from the slow movement of a tectonic plate across a fixed hotspot deep beneath the surface of the earth. The hotspot works its way through the crust until it breaks through. Examples include Hawaiian islands. What comes out of a volcano? during eruption. When a volcano erupts, different materials come out of it, which includes lava, ash, gases and broken rock pieces. Lava is the molten rock that erupts from the volcano and before it erupts, it's called magma. The lava is often red hot and can be over a thousand degrees Celsius in temperature. Ash is fragments of rock, mineral and volcanic glass created during a volcanic eruption. 
Explosive volcanic eruptions can send huge ash clouds high into the air. Ash later falls back to the ground, but it can be carried hundreds of miles from the volcano. Volcanic gas that is released into the atmosphere is mostly steam, followed by carbon dioxide and sulphur dioxide. Other principal volcanic gases include hydrogen sulphide, hydrogen chloride and hydrogen fluoride. Are all volcanoes active? Answer is no. In terms of activity, volcanoes can be classified as active, dormant or extinct. Active volcanoes are those that erupt regularly. Some examples of active volcanoes are Mount St. Helens in the United States, Kilauea in Hawaii and Mount Etna in Italy. Dormant volcanoes are those that have erupted in historical times but are now quiet and may erupt again in the future. Example, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fuji in Japan. Sometimes it's difficult to distinguish between active and dormant volcanoes. For example, Mount Fuji is officially classified as an active volcano, but some describe Fuji as dormant or inactive. It has been dormant since its last eruption in 1707. Third category is extinct volcanoes, those that have not erupted in recorded history and are not expected to erupt again. Ben Nevis in Scotland is an example of an extinct volcano. How many volcanoes exist on Earth? It sounds like a simple question, but it is certainly very complicated. And the true answer is that the exact number of volcanoes is unknown. Some volcanoes are completely unknown, hidden beneath the oceans, some haven't erupted in a long time, so it's hard to say if they are still active. During the past 10,000 years, about 1,500 volcanoes are known to have been active. At present, there are about 600 volcanoes that have had known eruptions during recorded history, while about 50 to 70 volcanoes are erupting each year and at any given time. An average of about 20 volcanoes are erupting around the world. What is Ring of Fire? The Ring of Fire is an arc around the Pacific Ocean where many volcanoes and earthquakes are formed. It stretches for 40,000 kilometers long and is shaped as a horseshoe. It has 452 volcanoes, which is more than 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes. All but three of the world's 25 largest volcanic eruptions of the last 11,700 years occurred at volcanoes in the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a direct result of plate tectonics, the movement and collisions of lithospheric plates. Which is the largest active volcano on Earth? Mauna Loa, which means Long Mountain, is the largest active volcano on Earth in both mass and volume. It's one of the five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii in the US, state of Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. It is an active shield volcano with relatively gentle slopes with a volume estimated at approximately 75,000 cubic kilometers of material. It measures 4,169 meters above sea level and measured from the sea floor, Moana Loa is taller than 9,000 meters. That's taller than Mount Everest but its peak is about 38 metres lower than of its neighbour, Moana Kea. Moana Loa has probably been erupting for at least 700,000 years and may have emerged above sea level about 400,000 years ago. 
What are some of the world's biggest volcanic eruptions? Let's look at some of the world's biggest and most powerful volcanic eruptions. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. In Italy, in 79 AD, this volcano devastated the nearby cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. Thousands of people died. It has erupted several times since, most recently in 1944. Mount Ruiz, Colombia. Mount Ruiz in Colombia, South America, had two destructive eruptions in 1985. A mixture of mud, ash and water swept through the countryside, several villages and eventually the town of Aramero, killing around 25,000 people. Mount Pelee, Martinique, situated on the Caribbean island of Martinique. Mount Pelee is one of the most famous volcanoes in the world. It last erupted in 1932, but its eruption in 1902 was one of the worst volcanic disasters, which took lives of 30,000 people, burning the whole city from its lava. Mount Krakatoa, Indonesia, Krakatoa recorded its most explosive eruption in the year 1883, killing over 35,000 people, mainly due to the resulting tsunamis. This eruption is considered the loudest sound ever. It's estimated to have reached 310 decibel, loud enough to be heard clearly 5,000 kilometers away. Mount Tambora, Indonesia 1815, explosion of Mount Tambora in Indonesia is the deadliest eruption in recorded history. The eruption and its immediate dangers killed around 10,000 people. But that wasn't its only impact. It caused disease and a lot of climate changes and killed over 90,000 people. Can we predict volcanic eruptions? The answer is yes, but this statement bears some caveats. Most volcanoes tend to show some signs in the weeks or months prior to an eruption, but some explosions are much more sudden and unexpected. Volcanologists, the scientists who collect data about volcanic activity, and then study these findings can predict eruptions. They combine several techniques to predict what will happen. Some key ones out of these are as follows. First is seismic activity, which is earthquakes and tremors. They always occur as volcanoes awaken and prepare to erupt, and so they're a very important link to eruptions. Next is ground deformation. Rising magma pushes the skin of the volcano up and out. Sensitive tilt meters and surveying instruments can measure and record these changes, which help volcanologists to determine the volcanic activity. Third is gas emissions. As magma nears the surface and its pressure decreases, gases escape. Sulfur dioxide is one of the main components of volcanic gases and increasing amount of it is a sign of a volcanic eruption. The more data volcanologists have on a specific volcano, the better they will be able to anticipate its behaviour and the possibility of an eruption. What are the effects of volcanic eruptions? Volcanic eruptions can have a devastating effect on the people and the environment. They can cause a lot of damage. Many lives can be lost as a result of a volcanic eruption. They can trigger tsunamis, floods, earthquakes, mud flows and rock falls. Buildings can be destroyed, flight paths can be disrupted, poisonous gases can kill people and animals, crops can be destroyed and much more. However, volcanoes can also have a positive impact on the area. They produce rich fertile soil, which is good for agriculture. 
Also, the dramatic scenery created by volcanic eruptions attracts tourists and brings income to the area. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do support my channel by subscribing to it and do me press the bell icon so you get the notification as soon as I release the next video. Also, let me know in the comments below what topics would you like me to cover in my future videos and if you have some other interesting facts in this topic, share below. Chosen comments will be added to the pinned comment and given credit.